Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today we're going to be making skinny pancakes or in other words, we're going to make some crepes on here. <laughs> But before I get started, let me just say, if this is your first time here, you love food, you love fun, you are in the right spot, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything new. All right, so I'm super excited because I had seen one of these, I think it was like on like one of those videos when you're scrolling through Facebook. I may have even seen it on YouTube, I'm not sure. But basically, they just took this, dipped it in the batter, and it cooks right on here, and they were able to just turn it out. And I thought, no way is it that easy. So I ordered one, and if I'm being honest, I actually filmed this yesterday, and I had some technical issues, so I'm redoing it. So actually, I know that it works. It doesn't work quite like they showed on the video that I seen where they just pulled it off and then the, the crepe fell right off. You have to kind of pull it off a little bit, but they send you this little scraper. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and make our batter. The first thing we need is three quarters cup of milk. And we also need three quarters cup of flour. I'm going to go ahead and whisk those two together. And we're also going to add... Oh, my butter solidified. I melted this a minute ago. I'm going to put this back in the microwave. All right. We also need two eggs. And I actually halved this recipe, so you can double it if you want. I didn't want to make, it seemed like I made so many yesterday, which would be great if we were making one of those crepe cakes. That's one thing I'm going to have to do now that I have this maker here. All right, a couple of tablespoons of sugar. And I think my butter just went all over the microwave. Anyway, tablespoon of butter. Tiny bit, like a half a teaspoon of lemon extract. And then we're going to whisk all this together. And they say the secret to really good crepes is to letting the batter rest. But I'm a little too anxious for that. <laughs> I had so much fun using this yesterday. I'm like really ready to use it again. All right, so the other thing it comes with is this little plate here. Kind of like a plate bowl. <laughs> it's a deep dish plate. Oh, look at that. The amount of batter that I made was the exact amount to fit in here. Okay, so, and I had the box yesterday when I filmed, and overnight I threw it away, and it rained since outside. <laughs> So I can't show you the box it came in, but I can tell you it is the Salton brand. It is cordless, and then this is the charging base. So that is where your electric comes from, and then you set it down on the base. And this has been heating up for a little bit, but this is your indicator light. Here's your power switch. Indicator light is here, and when that comes on, then it's ready to go. So when you pull it off of here, the light goes off. Then you press it down into your batter. It says for like three seconds, but no more than three seconds. And I might need to make my batter just a little bit thicker. And then it says when the light goes off, it's ready. Which it already went off. And these, like I said, these look pretty thin. So I'm thinking that these could use a little more, a little more flour with them. Because I'm not doing a very good job here today. <laughs> I got it all going up the side so it didn't come off as easy as it did yesterday. All right, let's try another one. Let's try another one. Boy, I'm not doing this company any favors, am I? Let's make sure it's... And that's probably why it was better yesterday because I did let it rest. But let's see. You don't want to put it down too far. It said three seconds. That looks a bit, little bit better. I was so afraid of dipping the sides, I don't think I got it all the way around. Maybe it's when the light, no, it's not when the light comes back on. I don't know, maybe the light doesn't come on or off. <laughs> anyway, yesterday I was totally impressed with this tool. I was like, where has this been my whole life, right? So this isn't the prettiest crepe. We'll just, we'll just put that aside. <laughs> all right, this looks like it's done already. And you kind of got to watch them because if you cook them too long, they will kind of, you know, get brown on the other side and not, they're not real pretty that way. Here, let's do this. I keep dipping the edges in. But look at that. I'm not the best at getting it off of there, but look at that. And you just roll your crepes up. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. Let's do another one. <laughs> I got to quit dipping the side in here, though, because that's making it hard to come off of there. 
And so yesterday when I filmed this, I made some strawberry filling and some cheese filling from some mascarpone, which is kind of like a cream cheese filling. So I'll put the recipe for that filling in the description below along with the recipe for the crepes. And for the strawberry filling, the strawberries, I just cut up some fresh strawberries and I put them in some strawberry jelly. So you could use a strawberry pie filling or kind of any fruit flavor that you like for that matter. All right, let's see how we did this time. Look at that. So easy, right? Let's turn this over. Not that it really matters, I guess. We'll put a little bit of our cheese filling in here. A little bit of our strawberry filling. This is a little runny. From yesterday, it broke down just a little bit. Just fold my crepes over. Get ourselves a fork. Now we need to see how they taste. just as good as yesterday. <laughs> I love the strawberry and the cream cheese filling or mascarpone, I should say. And like I said, you can put any kind of filling in there. And the great thing about crepes is you can do sweet. <laughs> you can do sweet or savory. So you can do them for breakfast. You can do them for brunch. You can do them for dinner. And I think they make an elegant dessert. And now you can say they're easy to make too, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Check it out. It's called the Salton Cordless at crepe and tortilla. I forgot. It's supposed to make tortillas too. That part I haven't done yet, so we'll have to try that. Anyway, I will put the link to this in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.